Have you ever stopped at a red light, glanced at the thick white stripes stretching across the road, and wondered, why do crosswalks look like that? Those bold rectangular lines painted in bright white are everywhere, from bustling city centers to sleepy suburban intersections. They might seem like a basic road design choice, but they're actually the result of decades of safety research, engineering standards, and human psychology. Crosswalks are more than just paint on pavement. They're one of the simplest yet most powerful tools cities use to keep people alive. So let's get into it, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the obvious. Crosswalks need to be seen. Streets are busy, chaotic places filled with moving vehicles, flashing signs, honking horns, and people darting in all directions. The thick white stripes stand out like a visual exclamation point. Bright white is chosen specifically for its high visibility, especially at night when streetlights or car headlights reflect off it. Unlike colors that blend in with the asphalt or get washed out in rain or sun, white retains its brightness, making it easy for both drivers and pedestrians to notice. But visibility isn't just about brightness. The thickness of the lines is intentional too. Thin lines would get overlooked or fade faster. Thick stripes create a strong visual contrast against the road. When you're behind the wheel and see those wide white bars, your brain instantly recognizes them as a signal. Slow down, someone might be crossing here. The psychological association is powerful. Even in areas without traffic lights, the visual presence of those stripes influences driver behavior, making streets safer. The most common type of crosswalk with these thick white lines is called the zebra crosswalk, named for the black and white stripe pattern resembling the animal's coat. This design didn't come from random artistic inspiration. It originated in the United Kingdom during the 1950s, following a rise in pedestrian fatalities. British traffic engineers needed a clear, unmissable way to tell both drivers and pedestrians where walking zones were. The solution? Thick alternating stripes of white across the road. The zebra pattern worked so well that other countries started copying it. In fact, its simplicity became its biggest strength. It didn't require special signage or expensive technology, just paint and a thoughtful design. Today, this kind of crosswalk is used across Europe, Asia, Africa, and the Americas. While some countries add their own twist, like flashing lights, raised surfaces, or color accents, the thick white stripes remain the foundation. The width of each stripe isn't arbitrary. In many countries, including the United States, traffic engineers follow official design guidelines, like the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices MUTCD. These guidelines typically specify crosswalk stripes to be between 30 to 60 centimeters wide, around 12 to 24 inches, spaced with gaps of similar size. These dimensions are chosen based on visibility studies, tire wear patterns, and pedestrian flow. Wider stripes last longer under the wear and tear of vehicle tires. Paint naturally fades over time, especially on busy roads, but thicker lines give more surface area for the paint to cling to. It's also about presence. Thin lines may vanish after a few months of rain and traffic, but thick stripes remain visible longer, helping reduce the risk of accidents. From a pedestrian's point of view, wide stripes provide a sense of security. There's something comforting about stepping into a bold, clearly defined zone that announces, this space is meant for you. Drivers see it too and are more likely to yield when the markings are bold and unmistakable. Multiple studies have shown that crosswalks with these high visibility markings reduce crashes 
and improve driver yielding behavior. Painting crosswalks isn't a one-time affair. Those bright white stripes have to be maintained regularly. Cities often use thermoplastic materials or reflective glass beads embedded in the paint to extend the life of crosswalks. In snowy regions, snowplows can wear down markings faster, while in hot climates, the sun can cause paint to peel. That's why the thickness and boldness are essential. It gives maintenance crews more to work with before the markings become dangerously faded. In recent years, some cities have experimented with colorful or artistic crosswalks. You might have seen rainbow crosswalks for pride events or painted designs featuring community art. These designs still usually maintain the thick white stripe elements or are placed at intersections where additional signs or lights enforce pedestrian right-of-way. While creative, the core safety principle remains – visibility, clarity, and contrast. There's also growing interest in raised crosswalks, slightly elevated platforms that double as speed bumps. These still use the thick white stripes, but their elevation makes them even more noticeable to approaching drivers. In areas with high foot traffic, especially near schools or hospitals, these enhanced crosswalks are becoming more common. You might wonder, if thick white stripes work so well, could other shapes or colors work better? The short answer is, not really. Engineers have tested alternatives, like diagonal lines, colored tiles, or dotted patterns, but nothing performs quite as consistently across different lighting and weather conditions as white stripes. White reflects light better than most colors, especially on dark asphalt, and stripes give a rhythmic visual pattern that's hard to miss. Additionally, traffic laws in most countries are built around these standard markings, Changing the design could lead to confusion or legal ambiguity. Uniformity keeps things predictable for both local drivers and international visitors. You don't want to cross a street in another country and be unsure whether the markings mean crosswalk or do not enter. So, the next time you step into a crosswalk, remember, those thick white stripes aren't just decoration. They're the product of decades of research real-world testing, and thoughtful engineering. They signal safety, structure, and shared space in the most efficient way possible. From the width of the lines to the color of the paint, every detail is designed with your safety in mind. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.